एक एक और तो डिजिटल मीडिया से लोग बहुत ज़्यादा गवर्नमेंट की पोजीशन को अपोज कर रहे हैं तो उसके तरफ एक उनको थ्रेटन करने के लिए कि आप हमारे बारे में बात नहीं करेंगे यही माने हैं क्योंकि द रेगुलर मीडिया विच इज़ देर लार्जर मीडिया हाउसेज ऑलरेडी बीन टेकन ओवर दे एनी वे स्पीक द गवर्नमेंट्स वॉइस गवर्नमेंट की बातें ही बताते हैं वो वो और कोई बातें नहीं बताते आप, आपको लग रहा था कि डिजिटल मीडिया या फिर जो यूट्यूब के थ्रू जर्नलिस्ट थे वो अपनी कम्युनिकेशन लोगों तक पहुँचा रहे हैं एंड एक्चुअली वो बहुत ग्रो हो रहा था लास्ट छः और एक में एक साल में बहुत ग्रो हुआ है तो उनके तरफ जाकर जैसे अभिषार की चैनल बहुत पॉपुलर है तो आपको उनको किसी ना किसी तरह से उनको थ्रेट करना था ये वही मैसेज है नहीं तो आप अभिषार जो न्यूज़ क्लिक के साथ जुड़े भी नहीं हैं उनको क्यों आप अरेस्ट करेंगे एक कॉन्ट्रैक्टर है शायद कोई जिसने दो सौ रुपया या तीन सौ रुपया उसे मिला था एक आर्टिकल के लिए उसको भी आपने अरेस्ट किया तीस्ता का क्या संबंध है यहाँ इसके साथ तीस्ता को आपने ब्लॉक कर दिया और आप एक आर्टिकल न्यूज़ न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स में एक आर्टिकल आया हुआ है उसके बेसिस पे क्योंकि इन्वेस्टमेंट तो पेटीएम में भी हुआ है इन्वेस्टमेंट तो हमारे कंट्री के हर इंडस्ट्री में हो रहा है बट आई ऑल्सो थिंक ये एक मौका है हमारे लिए जानने के लिए कि गवर्नमेंट रैटल्ड है उनको पता है पब्लिक सपोर्ट नहीं है और इसी रैटल का ये लास्ट फेस है द दे आर पुशिंग देयर एंगर टूवर्ड्स एस यूजिंग द स्टेट मशीनरी एस पीपल वी नीड टू बी वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दैट दिस इज द लास्ट फेस ऑफ them and we need to be not frightened we need to be in support and solidarity with everyone and that's how it will work for us so that is the message in general for everyone and to ourselves the sections of the media that are still trying and struggling to be independent the idea is to intimidate them and how do you intimidate them best by bringing against them the most ferocious sections of the law the uapa is meant for terrorists and in fact the an amendment made in 2019 by the present government they made it they made it very harsh i don't have to give reasons but the state has to give no reasons they can catch hold of any individual and declare that this person is a terrorist this man or woman is a terrorist put him in jail that's all that is required there is no due process there is no furnishing of proof nothing so that is how dangerous the law is but uh, this application of this uh, uapa for uh, journalists so who are uh, just doing their job that's the very point they can use this against a teacher against a doctor against a student against a housewife against your brother or my sister anybody journalists is important for them to scare the journalists so that the journalists may not write what they observe truthfully and comment free so what the situation so now uh, the case has become stringent and uh, many journalists have not only been questioned but they have been arrested as well and they are prominent journalists yes it's a pity that they are prominent journalists because prominent journalists become prominent by having a track record of work right so they want to silence first of all those who speak the loudest but the the number of arrests made on the 3rd of october was of every kind of journalist even young boys and girls they were questioned not all of them were brought to the police station the women were questioned in their homes but they were questioned they were not all top notch journalists it's just to spread fear do you think this this has any connection with the upcoming forthcoming lok sabha elections of course it does you know the juncture the context always matters no because the government today is less sure of its chances than it was 2 years ago or 3 years ago therefore you know the more injustice it brings about by disregarding the ordinary people of this country the the independent sections of the media will write about it and the message will spread they don't want that message to spread just with months before the election Okay. Thank you. People of India are being plagued with tremendous price rise, tremendous uh, lack of employment. The press freedom index is like dwindling at a very, at a very high level actually. So it's it's ranking backwards. Then uh, we have the national education policy that's making education private, inaccessible to students. We have the farm laws that is the, in, that are being implemented in many states specifically. That's making life difficult for farmers. Workers are being slapped with the new labour codes. Then we have the modified DIA, the modified Mines and Minerals Act. There's all kind of onslaught on people. On one hand, natural resources are being looted, and on the other hand, people are being suppressed economically, and they're diverted using communal tactics. 
So we have a design against all these things are being put by and was are being slapped with UAPA. So the process itself becomes the punishment for them so that the government shuts them down for good. So that's the kind of tactic that the government is using in the run up to the 2024 elections because the king's throne is in danger. What do you think the solution is? The solution right now is kind of a united people's movement against fascism. Because no matter which government comes into power, there's a very little chance that the economic policies will be changed. Some communal policies, uh, communal kind of uh, attitude may, may get changed, but that's the extent of it. So it is only through people's movement that whatever ruling government is there, they have to be put in pressure, they have to be kept in check. And it is the only way to go forward building people's movements in as big scales as possible. So we have come here as part of standing in solidarity with journalists who have been arrested uh, in Delhi. Uh, so what do you think the solution is? How do we go about this? Um, because it's very, uh, it's a very draconian law that's being slapped to journalists. Anything that is voiced against the government is being uh, suppressed. So what do you think the solution is? What can be as citizen and journalists? There's a need to mobilize more. The only way is to fight back against the government who is continuously trying to oppress us. The only way is to fight back, I think. Again, the way to reform and things like that, I don't know how much it will work, but then only way is to mobilize more and more students, more and more people, and that's not, it's a bigger issue, it's not just not just limited to journalists, it's also students who are affected, it's also workers who are women, Dalit, everyone is affected, so it, it's a larger struggle. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The mad dogs, they, they are biting everyone who is uh, seen on the street. Why so? Oh, so, a uh, dog, eh? Oh, no, the dog is having good uh, respect. I don't even call Modi as a dog. Still low. You yeah, forget. Uh, when I was a student, I read about first battle of Panjipat, second battle of Panjipat, like this. I compare this. Now, the first, uh, <coughs> the arrest have been taken in Pune on the occasion of uh, the Bhima Korega. 14 well-known hardcore human rights activists have been arrested. And many of them still in the prison for the last six long years. And this is the second battle of Anipa, the newsprint comrades. I wanted to ask Mr. Modi and uh, Shah, Everybody knows, Mr. Modi Shah, you know, who is British Bush and Singh. What is the allegation against you, Mr. Singh? He has molested and raped several players, wrestlers. When they went to the police station, the police have refused to register in the case. Finally, they went to the Supreme Court. Only after Supreme Court intervention, the FIR has been filed. Even after that, the British Bush Singh has not yet been arrested. It's a laughing stage. In the circumstances, this news people, the journalists have been arrested. I don't know where the country is going. We'll face. Sir, uh, now the journalists uh, are 